Many people know what they want, but they don't know where to start or how to start. And we hear a lot this question, how can I begin my own business? How can I start to save a good money and later to invest and buy something? How do I start to change my health, my weight, my physical condition? How do I start changing my marriage that is terrible? Where do I begin the change in my relationship? How do I stop on being a person that is sensitive, anxious? I don't want to be this person anymore. How do I start the habit on praying every day, on being a person of faith? Where do I begin? People know what they want, but most of times they don't know where to begin. And then they keep on rehearsing, procrastinating, delaying and saying, one day I will do it, I know that I have to, but they delay because they don't know where to start. And in reality, what happens in most cases is that people have a wrong idea on how big changes start in their lives. They think that big changes start with big actions, when in reality it's the opposite. Big changes most of times start with small actions, and the Word of God speaks about it. Actually, twice we find this advice in the Word of God, Prophet Zechariah, God spoke through him, saying the following, For who has despised the day of small things? For who has despised the day of small things? For this seven rejoice. Zechariah 4, 10 speaks about it. Because it's usual for people to despise the day of small things. Which means there was a small advance, a small action that today you're going to say, this won't change a thing, this won't change a thing. But the Word of God says, no, do not despise the day of small things, because you will rejoice and you remember this day that a small change was made. And that in the book of Job, we also find this advice. Though your beginning was small, yet your latter end would increase abundantly. Which means the secret to change, to start something, is to start small. What do you want to do? What do you want to change in your life? First, think on what you want to do. What you want to change, what you want to do. What do you want? Instead of thinking, but for me to have that, I'll have to do so much, I'll have to do this and that. Actually, I don't even know where to start, because it's too many things to do. No, don't think like that. Think, do you want to start a business? Do you want to start a business? Don't think like, first I need to find a place, commodity, I need to do a course. Don't think like that. Start now. Even if it's not the business you want, the way you dream of, but you have to start somewhere. How many people today started their business and their business with so many branches, even spread into other countries, multinationals, they started in the garage of their house. They started doing the work there. Not many planning, not many perspective or help. They started with small. They started on their mobile phone, with their laptop. They started selling something on the streets, but they started. They committed mistakes, they stumbled, they learned what to do. They start getting, acquiring the skills and multiplying, but they started. Do you remember? I still got this time because my father also took part of that, back in the days, businesses. They would take the name of brothers, sons, Costa brothers, so-and-so and sons. Do you remember the businesses used to be called like this? 
so-and-so and sons, brothers so-and-so. Why they would do that? Because most of the businesses back in the days would start with the family, with their own house. Let's do something here, this or that. And then they'll gather the siblings, the children, and they'll start a business. So they did not need to have something supernatural, extraordinary to start. They simply begun. And the thing will expand, expand to the point of having a lot of breakthroughs. So, what you already can do? Do you want to start saving money? You say, I'm broke, I'm jobless, how am I going to save money? Well, you can take one real, one dollar, one pound, but what this will make a difference in my life is not the amount of the money, it's the habit on separating that coin and that one coin will become two, ten, and if you keep this habit, soon you're going to have that, what you want. But you need to have a small beginning. Do you want to lose weight? What do you have to do? So you're going to stop on eating, drinking fizzy drinks. Maybe you're still going to do a lot of wrong things, but you have to start with something. Start a walk. Don't you like to exercise? So take the stairs instead of the lift. You can do something, maybe small, but you can do it. What do you want to do? Do you want to change your marriage? So decide that you're not going to answer back. Just a decision. I'm no longer going to answer back. When my husband, my wife speak, usually I reply, I answer them back, so I'm not going to do that anymore. I'll be quiet. That's all. Start with a small action, a small step. Don't you have the habit of praying every day? You would like to, to speak to God, you hear of testimonies of people who are people of prayer, of faith, people who live on talking to God at all times. You don't have this habit, but you would like to. But you don't have this way, this intimacy. You don't even know how to pray. How do I start, Bishop, to be a person of prayer? To have a communion with God through prayer? Well, simple. Start in the morning saying to God, Good morning, Lord. Good morning, Lord. Good morning. That's all. Start with a good morning. You start any relationship with a, a greeting. Hi, good afternoon. It's not like that how we start. So you start your day saying, Good morning, God. Say good morning today, tomorrow. The following week, you're going to say, Good morning, God. Well, it's so good to speak to you today. I needed so much help from you, Lord. Start with a simple word. And soon, the simple word will become a phrase and then a conversation. You have to start. The Word of God says, Do not despise the day of small things. Because though your beginning was small, yet your latter end would increase abundantly. Do you want to stop on being a sensitive person? A person who is always worried with what others think about you, feeling like this and that, keeping a grudge, feeling sad? Then start to discard certain feelings, sensations, certain reactions. Even though they might be small, start to discard them. I'm not going to worry about that. That's it. Take a decision. About this, I'll pretend that nothing happened, that I haven't heard that. Discard that situation that you usually take a reaction, an emotional reaction from you. Do that, a small reaction. I'm not going to make a big deal out of that. Then you start to train yourself to be more logical, more rational, and less sensitive. Are you an anxious person? You want to stop being anxious? Then... You will stop on thinking on that problem that you want to solve today. And you're going to say a prayer. My God, is this what I want? I don't see the time for that to happen. But I surrender in your hands. Let your will be done. Do this about one thing. Just one thing. And you will see that you, with this small change, this small principle, this small action that you're going to take, small one, this will add up, add up, add up. When you least expect your life, your marriage, your finances, your spiritual life, all that you wanted to change, 
will already be transformed. God honors the small beginnings. So to start, do the bare minimum, the bare minimum. What is the most simple action that you can take today? The bare minimum, do that. And tomorrow, a little bit more. And like this, you will get there. Did you like this? Would you like to hear it again? Listen to it as many times as you need until this content becomes part of you. Don't forget to leave your like, comment and share. See you next time.